Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a very quick skin tutorial on Procreate and if you haven't downloaded that app yet, I totally recommend it because it's like having Photoshop but easier on your iPad. But before we start, I want to thank everyone who came to our coloring party last Sunday. We had a blast. I love watching you guys coloring my Scorpio girl from my new coloring book, uh, Chica Zodiaco, that you can get on Amazon. I'm going to leave a link down below so you can get it too. I loved watching all your coloring masterpieces at the end of the session. Thank you so much for making me part of it and thank you so much for all your support. As you know, I'm a fashion illustrator, so we don't take too much time on details, especially on skin and hair. So I think that's why this tutorial is going to be perfect for you. But if you want me to do a more detailed tutorial on skin, just leave me your comments down below. So to start coloring, the first thing you need is a drawing. It doesn't have to be perfect because you're going to fix it with the colors you're going to put on top of it. So I sketch a rough drawing in black with a sketching or a calligraphy brush. And then on a separate layer, I redraw a cleaner version of it with a brownish color and the same drawing brush that I used, but in a lower percentage. Then on a separate layer, I put my base color with my first group of shading. If you don't know how to shade, just pick the usual places where shadows would be. On the hair roots, under the cheekbones, under the lower lip, on both sides of the nose, and on the neck just under the jawline. Then with the smudge tool, you blend both colors. For the base of the eyebrows, I use a dark color with low opacity, and for the eyes, I use the same colors, but with higher opacity. Um, another place to apply shadows is on top of the lid on the brow bone. I apply a couple of highlights on top of the lid, and then I color the eyebrows with two different tones. Then on another layer, I apply blush and a second group of shading with a darker color just to create more depth. Because I love makeup so much, I like to apply lots of highlights to make the skin look super shiny. But if you want a more natural look, you can apply highlights with the soft airbrush. For the lips, I followed the same steps I used for the skin. I used a base color in pink and two darker shades for the shadows. To finish, I used a pale pink for the highlights. Then I draw the final details like the eyelashes, top and bottom, and I put a little bit of eyeliner on the waterline. I also put some highlights on top of the brow and some darker tones on some parts of the nose. Then I flip the image horizontally to check if everything's in place and Voila, our skin is ready. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to give me thumbs up and see you next time. Bye.